Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Red and Blue Crew Pod. Um, this is the best hockey podcast, and I know we have not posted in like a week. I have some family issues going on, so I wasn't able to uh, do it. But we are here. We are together, and we are gonna make a pod. I'm Eden Rosen, and I'm Ben Cooper. We're through almost all of the game fours. The rest of the game fours are happening tonight. And uh, so we're going to talk about playoffs, obviously, because that's the only thing going on right now. And and there's been some a couple of upsets. You know, there's been um, there's been Seattle taking one of the games versus Colorado. I would say Colorado was the heavy favorite to take that one. Eh? Um, yeah, but it's really... It's uh, it's very cool that a re- really new team is doing really well in the playoffs, and yeah, yeah. So we have a couple of a couple of things to talk about, including we're gonna talk about all of the series just to get you guys updated on all of the series. Um, so don't forget, um, stick till the end, and um, we're gonna r- release some classified information. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, first, we'll talk about the Oilers' comeback to take Game 4. The series versus the Los Angeles Kings is now tied at two apiece. Yes, sir. The Islanders? Oilers. O- uh, oh, oh, sorry. I did not hear you. Oilers, Kings. Yes. Um, so, this game was an interesting one. Uh, the Oilers came back. And uh, stole the game. Um, Sadly, I did not watch it, but I did watch the replay. So uh, I'm going to hand it over to the man who watched it live, Benny Cooper. I didn't watch it live, and I watched the highlights (laughs) just like you. Um, These games are starting at 10 o'clock. I am not watching them. Um, Edmonton and Los Angeles, they're both really good teams, and this is a rematch from 2022. And... Edmonton took that one last year, so um, obviously they're the favorite to win, but Los Angeles has a chance because it's 2-2, and it looks pretty even, wouldn't you say? Definitely. Teams are really evenly matched. They have a couple of superstars on both teams, so yeah, I think it's a great match. Yeah, I think the only reason Los Angeles is losing is because they just can't match the firepower of Edmonton, and the only way to like defend that is just to um, four check and back check, and cover in front of the net, and just don't let McDavid and Drysdale get chances. If you are the Los Angeles Kings, um, you're you're just trying to shut down the Oilers, you know. So, with this series, we'll go on to the next series, Vegas versus Winnipeg. So Vegas leads two one right now, and. Vegas is the heavy, heavy favorite to win this one. Winnipeg? Yes. Okay. Um, Winnipeg are underdogs, and I'd say, I'd say Winnipeg has a chance, though. They're doing really well. Definitely. There was um, game, uh, I think, two nights ago. Yeah, two nights ago on Saturday. By the way, we are recording this uh, Monday, April 24th. And it is 4.57 p.m. currently. Um, anyways, I was watching this game with my grandparents. And there was wh- my grandparents like, oh, they're not going to make it back. They were in a 4-2 four, four defi- deficit, the Jets. Um, and they, they got a goal back. Mark Schleifley ripped one on the power play. And then they, um, and then they pulled their goalie. My grandma is very um is very uh non optimistic, so she said, Oh, the Vegas Golden Vegas Golden Knights are just gonna score on the empty net. But no, they got the goal with less than a minute to go and it was really amazing. Um but that also happened in Tampa. And uh, I think you're really excited about this one, Ben. So oh. I'm r- I'm gonna hand hand it over to you. So I'm just gonna end off the it did go to over double OT the Vegas game. It went to double OT and uh, Vegas ended it. Uh, too bad uh, Winnipeg couldn't take that. 
But I will go over to the Toronto Maple Leafs versus the Tampa Bay Lightning. So game tonight. The Leafs have a game to the Leafs this series has a game tonight at seven thirty PM Eastern time. And so Toronto is leading two one, but as we talked about, I talked to a couple of people um today and yesterday and right after the game and all of them said they didn't deserve to win, which is pretty true because they had 28 shots going into overtime. And uh, Tampa Bay, I think, had 34. So s- six shots, not much of a difference, <laughs> but when it's the playoffs and this every is... Every shot counts. Every shot counts, yeah. And every in the Tampa Bay Lightning were a shot away from winning that in regulation time. Um, Toronto did not deserve to win that, but... Face-off win back to Morgan Riley in ov- overtime, and he snipes one over Vazzy's shoulder. Absolute clap ball. Yeah, so um, when they're playing tonight, um, I'd say I'd say either team could win this. It just really depends. Like all playoffs, uh, who shows up? Th- who shows up? If Toronto shows up and their coach gave them a talk. Uh, stern talk saying we should not have won that, which he probably did. Um, then Toronto's probably going to um, bounce back and try to win this one, really. But Tampa, Tampa's going to try even harder because they're wa- they're the ones who lost the game that they could easily have taken. Eden? Yeah, definitely. It just sucks that when you play like a, w- like a way better game than the other team, um, then... But you lose, and they there was I play where they were just dominating. They like had it in the zone when it was five on five, and it, and they were like tiring out there, passing it back and forth. And on the power play, they are not afraid to shoot the puck. They just wind up those clap bombs from Stammer, from Stammer, and uh, and Kuchi, and they mostly go in. And I just love that about them. Um, but the next series. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, so there is a very controversial hit um, midway through the game. M- Morgan Riley um, hits Braden Point a little bit o- of f- like a meter away from the boards, and he falls down and goes head first. And then there was a massive fight. Obviously, Kucherov takes Morgan Riley by the head and, j- and dives down. And uh, Point just skates out of there. It looked like he was winded or something. Luckily, he did come back, or not luckily for us Leafs fans. Um, and so cold-blooded, you Leafs fans. And you don't do anything to win. <laughs> yeah, because we don't get it a lot. <laughs> and um, and there's a lot of fights after that. Obviously, Austin Matthews started, or us. So Eden did not watch this game, and oh, uh, yeah, uh, I did. Oh, okay. So Austin Matthews is carrying two sticks back to the bench. And a set of gloves. And Stamkos was talking to the ref and then grabbed Matthews by the sweater and uh, just started to uh, fight him. Mm-hmm. Matthews obviously had no time to drop the gloves and just started fighting with the gloves on. And, uh, yeah, I think Stamkos' hair is really bad. <laughs> okay. Anyways, now that we've had a great rampage from Ben, about Woo! totally how Matthews did not mean to fight. Um, I would just like to make make a point. If you're going to get in a cheap fight, you might as well take the star player with you. Okay. Yeah, that's a Kay? good idea. Yeah, I know. He doesn't. He's not on the on the uh, power play unit, so it didn't concern the <laughs> the lightning. But um, sorry, Ben. Ben's being inappropriate right now. Um. But yeah. Okay, what's our next one? We'll oh, we didn't do. Next. We didn't. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to Seattle. Sorry, I'm just. I'm. I have a lot of energy today. Okay. We are going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. I get what I want. Don't need no genie. This one here will took it. Ain't no beanie. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to talk about Seattle and Colorado. So, they 
it's really interesting. I and I know I said this, but oh my God, you're probably so tired of me. I can't even tell you. But anyways, it. I think it's just so cool how Colorado, who won the cup last year, obviously they aren't doing as well this year, but um, they have a lot of experience in the playoffs. And um, Seattle is it? It's their like it's their second second year. Second year. Second year. Fifth year. Fifth year. Um, and first in the playoffs already, and that's super rare. And with Vegas, they're also really new, and but they're really good too. Um, yeah, I just think how it's like the underdogs can be so good, and um, yeah. Okay, next series. So which we'll do the Carolina series just because um, they are one of the two teams who's w- who's leading three one. So we'll do those two series next. So Carolina. Versus New York Islanders. So, the New York Islanders were the first wild card in the uh, Eastern Conference. So, with all of the amazing players on the Islanders, I think Carolina should win this series. They're obviously w- leading three one, which, which is, um, um, which is a huge advantage. But I really like that the NHL isn't going to have any first-round sweeps, which is which is really cool. So, Carolina has Fetchnikov, and they have... Natchez. Natchez. He's had an outstanding year this year. Yeah, and they just... I think... I, I don't think they're even comparable, these two teams. Carolina, obviously, first in the Metro, and... I think Carolina is just the better team, and I feel like they should win this w- with ease. Um, yeah, so we'll go to the next series. Um, the series that we're going to talk about next is Boston versus Florida. Um, so with Boston and Florida, obviously Boston is the heavy, heavy favorite. Heavy, heavy favorite to win the cup, even. Um, yeah, so... They've just been outstanding this year nobody can touch them they have lots of good grades i just don't want to say it right now greats oh. great guys i said yeah. great guys yeah so they have and i want to talk about how their captain patrice bergeron, bergeron has an upper body injury and how do you think this will affect the boston team um well you know leadership is a huge plays a huge part in the playoffs and without their outstanding leader uh, I don't know. Well, they I think they're definitely gonna beat Florida, but um, I think it will. It won't be as easy if because Florida still they have st- some still like like they haven't been doing this well that well this year, but they do have some um some outstanding talent on their team. Uh, Huberdo, uh, Kachuk. Wait, no, this is the Flames. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry. I'm talking about um, the other Kachuk. Yeah, the I got other. confused with myself. Um, so, yeah. Um, next series. We're going to call this one the Green Series. Sure. The Dallas Stars versus the Minnesota Wild. So, Dallas, obviously the favorite to win this one, and the series is tied 2-2. So, um, you just, you, I don't know what's going to happen with this there's a lot of fire on, power on the Dallas team Joe, with Joe Pizzavelski and Jason, Jason Robertson. Robertson, but also on the wild team, Kirill Kaprizov. And there, I think this is just like a really physical series. It's gone down to the very, the wire uh, um, on all of the ga- on most of the games. So, yeah, with that, we'll end off on the last series. The New Jersey Devils versus the New York Rangers. So, I think the Rangers, they have just so many superstars. I think I think they could they could make it. By and the way, by the way, by the way. Have they, so the game where Patty Kane scored an outstanding goal. So, he assisted on both of, uh, was it Trocek? Kreider. Uh, Kreider, no. Okay, Kreider or Trocek, he had two goals, both on the power play. Kaner assisted them both. And then it was a two-on-one the other way, 
and he instead of passing it to uh to Trochek, uh or or uh, who was it? Uh, Trochek or who was it? Never mind. Anyways, Kreider. Um. Uh, he just made an outstanding move to beat the goalie top, top, top shelf, and um, just don't. Even when Patty Kane is getting old, he's still one of the greats. Yeah, forehand, backhand, top shelf. I I think the Rangers having Savannah, Chad, Kane, Kreider, Panarin. I think and Shezzy. Shesterkin. Shesterkin. Yeah, they have Igor. I think. They're just experienced, experienced, experienced. I don't think we don't we don't say that a lot on this podcast, do we? Experience matters. I'm actually I'm actually getting annoyed with us. <laughs> so I think we we only have to we only can say experience uh, two more times this year, and if we want to say it, we just say the word that must not be named. Okay. 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 <laughs> so yeah, um, and uh, the devils. Do not have the word that must not be named because they just have an early superstar in Jack Hughes and just uh, yeah and I think the Rangers are better goaltending and better team in general. I think the Rangers can make it to the conference fi- to the conference finals and play Boston. I just think they're that much that much better. I think it's here's it, how it's gonna go. New York is gonna beat the Devils in uh, six or seven, then. Carolina is gonna beat New in New York in in uh five. in five or six, and then they're gonna play each other. Carolina is gonna win. They're gonna make it to the uh, conference. conference finals against Boston, and then okay. So well, first, um, Toronto is is. I actually think, I'm sorry, but Tampa is gonna win. I think Tampa is gonna Why? win. It just, it feels right. It's not, it doesn't feel right saying that Toronto is going to make it past the first round. So I'm just sticking with my gut here um, and saying Tampa's going to win in seven. And then Boston is going to beat in five or six. They're going to play each other. Uh, Boston's going to win. And then it'll be Carolina-Boston. Boston will win in the final. And then... For the uh, West Coast, West it'll Coast. be West why Coast. West Conference. Um, the Oilers will beat the Kings in seven, and then uh, the Golden Knights will beat uh, the Jets in six or seven, and then they'll play each other. Um, the Oilers will beat them in seven or six, six or seven, and then. The Dallas Stars will beat the Minnesota yeah. Wild in, um, I would say like s- yeah six or seven, and then Colorado is gonna beat the Kraken in five or six, I think. Okay. Uh, that's a hot take, but <laughs> and then very very hot, okay. boiling hot take. <laughs> that's definitely then, gonna go to seven and then, viewers. And then, and then. Don't think we're stupid Another just because of here. Eden's hot take. Another hot take here. Dallas is going to win in, in six. Against Colorado. Colorado. And then okay. in the conference okay. finals, it will be uh, Colorado Ed- and Edmonton. And Edmonton will win in seven. <laughs> and then it'll be Edmonton Bruins, and the Bruins are going to win in six or seven. Thanks for telling us your whole bracket, Eden. <laughs> You're welcome. So I only have one change to that. I had Toronto winning. I <laughs> uh, that's not biased at all. <laughs> I also <laughs> did not have Seattle losing in seven, in five, but... No, no, I put <laughs> on my bracket. I just like to make hot takes on this show. I put call in, in six or seven. Okay. I just I, I, I just like to ramp up the friends, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So, you had Boston taking Florida in five. That would easily. They're going to win tonight. Is it tonight? No. No, tomorrow. tomorrow. They're going to win tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, thank you guys for listening. Um, don't forget to subscribe on YouTube and join the Red and Blue Crew. To, um, to join the Red and Blue Crew, you can subscribe to us on YouTube. Don't forget to send us emails. And uh, 
um, don't forget to, um, just, yeah, don't forget to listen, and don't forget to keep up with all the content we're putting out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, Love you guys. Have a good day. Um, go Leafs go tonight. <laughs> um, that is not biased, guys. Why would you think I'm biased? Uh, so... Make sure to email us about Eden's hot take and uh, how wrong he is. Uh, goodbye, people. Okay, bye. bye. bye.